Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 17 of the Economics uh, playlist. Today we will be completing the main category fragment and we will retrieve products for the best deals and best products recycle reviews. Well, let's get started. So first we will create the adapters, then we will set up the recycle reviews. After that, we will retrieve the products from Firebase and observe the state to update the recycle reviews. Okay, let's get started with the adapters. So let's go ahead inside the adapters package and create two new adapters. So in here, I'm going to create the first one for the best deals adapter. And now to save the time, I will speed up the video and I will not be talking. Just do what I do now. And I guess you already know what we are going to do in here. So we're just going to set up the adapter. By the way, in here, don't pass the view group and also don't pass the attached to boolean. Okay, let's continue. And now we're going to call the bind function from the view holder. We're going to send product. In here, we're going to return the size of the list. Okay, now let's get back to the top. In here, we're going to bind the information into the view we have. First, let me go and show you the design we have. Okay, as you can see, this is the design. We have an image for the product, the title of the product. We also have the price, the price after the offer, and the price before the offer. Also, we have this button. So let's actually set this information to the views. In here, we want to use binding.apply, but for that, let me make this private val so we can use it. So binding.apply, we're first going to use glide to load the image. Here, we're going to get the first image of the list, and we're going to load it inside our image, which is image based deal. And now we want to calculate the price after the offer. And first we want to get the offer percentage and the offer percentage might be null. So you want to make a null check product.offer percentage question mark dot let. And if we are inside this scope, we make sure that we have an offer percentage. So now we want to calculate the remaining price percentage. We can calculate like that. So re remaining price percentage which is one minus it, when here is a float. And now we can calculate the price after the offer. Okay, price after offer equals to the remaining percentage, multiply the product price. And now we can add that the price to the text view, which is called TV new price, the text equals here we're going to add the dollar sign, so dollar, and then we need to add the price after percentage. So price after percentage, but this value might have a lot of decimal numbers or a lot of decimal digits like this. Let's say the price is like this. Let's make a comment. So let's say this is the price of this value. Now we only want to take two digits of the decimal digits. So to do that, there's a pattern inside the string class. We can use it. So we can call string dot format. And here we can actually add this format. Then we can pass the price after offer. 
Now we make sure we only get two digits from the decimal digits, the first two digits. If you want to get the first three digits, you can change this to three and like that. Okay, now we want to set the other information we have. So TV, all the price, which is the original price of the product. This equals to the dollar sign and we add the price then a tv the name actually i want to change the name to product.name now we want to create another class and call this based product adapter now we can copy everything in here and paste it inside this class but we want to make some changes first let's extend from recycle view adapter and we want to change the view holder class name uh, make this best products view holder gonna add that in here and add the constructor braces we also need to change the binding so this will be for the product rv item binding and in here let's change the name of this image view this will be image product and for the tv all the price this will be tv price and for the name will be tv name now one more thing for this function is that we are actually gonna make a null check for the offer percentage so if the offer percentage is null we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna hide the new price text view, which is the original price of the product. So let's do that. If the product dot offer percentage is null, then as I said, going to hide this text view. Now for the functions in here, this will return based based the product view holder. This one as well. And this binding for the product RV item or yes this one and in here change this to best product view holder okay that's it for this class now let's actually go to the fragment to set up these recycle reviews so I want to go to the main category fragment by the way if you are wondering how do I show that window or that dialog you can press shift Control and N. This will show this dialog and here you can search about files, classes, symbols or anything else. Okay, so let's actually add three functions in here or two functions. The first one is to set up the best deals striker of view. And we need one more for the best products. Before that, let's actually create instances of the adapters. And one more for the best products. Let's actually create these functions. So for the best deals cycle view, we can actually copy the content of this function and paste it for the best deals cycle view because it's going to be the same. But in here we can just change the adapter. So this best deals adapter equals, equals to best deals adapter. We also need to change the recycler view in here. So this will be for RV best deals products and the adapter in here as well now go up for this function let's actually initialize the adapter gonna use binding dot rv best products dot apply here we're gonna add the layout manager this one is going to be grid layout manager because we need to show two products in each column so in here we need to pass the context 
because as I said, we need to show two products in each column. The orientation is uh, vertical, so create layout manager dot vertical and the reverse layout is false. Then we're just gonna add the adapter. Now let's go to the view model to retrieve the products from Firestore. Um, for that, we need to go to the main category view model and let's actually create two states. So I'm gonna copy these two lines, paste them down below twice. The first one will be for the best deals product. Gonna copy here, paste it here, delete the underscore, and this will equal this one. The same thing for here, this will be for best products. Gonna be equal to best products and copy this like that. Now let's create two functions. The first one to fetch the best deals product. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did in here. I'm gonna launch view model scope dot launch and we're gonna emit the loading case inside the base deal products dot emit resource dot loading and now we use firestore dot collection we wanna reach the products collection and inside here we're gonna need to retrieve and inside here we're only gonna retrieve the best deals product so best deals this will make sure to filter the best deals products so it will only fetch them and now we can call get and let's add the listeners so add on success listener and add on failure listener so i'm just gonna copy the content of the above function i don't want to rewrite the code so copy these three lines paste them in here but this lambda function will give us a result so i'm gonna change it to that and i'm gonna also change this name to best deals product also we're gonna change the emit value here and this will be for the best deals product also gonna copy this line from the on failure listener from the above function and paste it down here and this will be inside the best deals product now we need one more function to fetch the best products uh, from Firestore. So function fetch best products. And in here I'm just gonna copy everything from the previous function, paste it inside here, and we're gonna change the state. So this will so this will emit the best product state. And for this and for Firestore, we need actually to remove this. We don't need to filter anything. We're just going to get all the products and show them inside the best products. However, this is up to you. So you can just filter it or you can get all the products as I do. And now we're going to change the name of this to best products. And we're going to change the state in here to best products. Also, we're going to change the emit value. And for the failure case, we're gonna emit inside the base product. And call them inside the inter block. So fetch base deals and fetch base product. Now let's go back to the fragment so we can listen to these states and update their soccer view. So inside the main category fragment, you can actually copy this, paste it down below twice. And here we're gonna collect the best deals product and we're gonna update the best deals adapter. The same thing in here. So best products and we're gonna update the best products adapter. And that is it actually. Let's run the app to check everything. I got this error and this is because I actually made a mistake here. In the best deals RV item, in the best deals RV, we need to add the best deals adapter because I added the basic products adapter so that was my mistake now let's launch the app again and as you can see we got the products everything looks very cool uh, one thing I want to do is to cancel the swipe behavior inside the view page or two 
So to do that, let's go to the home fragment. And in here, we can actually use binding dot view pager dot user uh, is user input enable make this false. So this will make sure to cancel the swipe behavior in the view pager with the tab layout. Okay, now one thing I want to do before in this video is to add a line on the old price. So as you can see, here we have two prices and we just need to make the user aware of the new price, of the price with the offer. So we can override the old price with a line. There is a simple way to do that in Java or in Kotlin. So let's go inside the basic products adapter and in here we can apply that. So inside the lit block, TV price dot paint flags equals to paint dot stroke through text flag so this will make sure to draw a line over this text view let's run the app again to see that okay as you can see here is the line we have this line over the all the price Okay guys, so that was it for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to paginate products from Firestore. 10,000 products in Firestore and we want to retrieve them. Well, if we retrieve them all together, the performance of the app will be very slow and we're also going to waste uh, the user time while he's waiting for the products to get fetched. And when we use paging, we can actually load products by small chunks. So we only can load 10 products for now and when the user scrolls to the bottom, uh, we can actually load the 10 next products. I will show you how to do that in the next video. So that's it for this video. Hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next one.